first playoff game. Uh, thoughts about that, and how much are you looking forward to having this chance? That's exciting. You know, it's a big opportunity for us. Obviously, a huge challenge on the road, um, but we're all excited for the opportunity and, and looking forward to taking advantage of the week. A lot of guys on the team and say they don't watch playoff football. Uh, they just swear football off for the next year. Have you watched during the course of your career, and did you think love to do this one day? Uh, hit and miss. You know, I, I definitely didn't sit down and watch a, a bunch of them, but uh, yeah, it's always something that that I, I wanted to be doing my whole career. Have there been moments along the way where you thought? can't believe I haven't experienced this yet or uh I don't know if it's that thought but it's the thought of like I want to be playing I want to be playing in January and, and competing for a championship you anticipate the intensity level being like and it, it, you anticipate there being a raised intensity I would imagine you know it's the playoffs everything kind of amps up a little bit um there's no prepare for next week if you lose it's it's win and, and move on or lose and go home and Obviously, everyone wants to, uh, to keep playing. So uh, I definitely expect it to be uh, an intense game. And uh, we're going to have to go out and, and be just as intense, if not more intense, than the other team. Knowing some that the intensity keys. and how it can get amped up, what are some of the things that you do to keep that even kill? You know, you could get too amped up and overthrow and not, not be as accurate. As well. I think just sticking true to, to what's got me to this point, you know. Um, being prepared, going into the game, being fully prepared for, for the situations that can arise, make the adjustments within the game. This is a team that obviously plays at a very high level on defense and always will throw something at you that, that you haven't seen on tape or change something up on you. So you have to be able to adjust within the game. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's football. You just got to go play and execute. All right, how much the difference is between playing at New England versus a typical road game? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if there is a, a difference. Obviously, it's a... It's a it's a place that they've played well at in in, in the past, but uh, at the end of the day, it's it's football. It's a road environment. It's going to be going to be loud, and we have to be ready to go. You've been part of four wins against them, which is a high number for a quarterback in this league. It, what, what can you draw off of that? Every team's different, you know. Obviously, how they played last year, how they played in the past, has been different than how they're playing this year. So, uh, at least defensively. So I can't really speak on on things of the past, but obviously, it's a team that's well coached. They're going to go out and execute. Um, their defense, their offense, the way that they're coached to, and, and they're not going to beat themselves. You have to go out and, and outperform them and execute your own, your own plan. They're obviously very good at getting their hands on the football in the secondary. Does that temper the chances you can take down the field some? I just think you have to be calculated and you know, trust your guys. Like I said, I've been building the trust of my receivers over the course of the season, and um, they're going to play tight coverage. They've been doing it all year. They're a really good group. They're physical. They get their hands on, on receivers. They get their hands on football. So we're going to have to be smart with the football, know when to put the ball in the right spot, and, and be accurate. And running and running to, and using play action to set up the pass. How do you feel like you guys have done when you've had to use the pass to set up the run? Uh, it hasn't come up a whole lot this year just because the way we're kind of built. So uh, obviously we have a plan for that, but uh, we'll just kind of see how the game goes. Satisfying has it been, uh, Ryan, to uh, not settle for field goals almost all the time. You guys have been so good about punching it in once it got in the red zone. What's that? Uh, what's that been like, and what do you attribute it to? Well, it's been huge. You know, I think the more times you can score touchdowns, you get in the red zone, then uh, you're going to win a lot more games. You know, getting seven instead of three. So something we want to continue to do. Obviously, this team is, is good in the red zone, and uh, they make it tough on you. So. We're going to have to be really good and disciplined with, with what we're doing and, and make some plays. Is your kicker, your new kicker, uh, giving you a, a hard time at all? Would he like to maybe kick a field goal every every now and then? <laughs> he hasn't. He hasn't. I'll uh, I'll keep trying to put seven up, and if we have to have to use him, then we'll have to use him. What's the mood change been like, I guess, in the building coming off of Sunday? And, and is it the dramatic difference maybe now that, as you kind of mentioned, a, a winner go home scenario? I don't think it's a dramatic difference. You know, I think – this team has been really good throughout the whole year of coming to work each and every day and, and trying to do everything we can to uh, to get better. So obviously there's an intensity and a focus, but it's not a dramatic difference. You know, we're you know trying to be locked in each and every week. How much easier has it made your job this year to have just the sheer number of offensive weapons that you guys do? It's huge, you know, being able to spread the ball around, you know, not only our backs out of the backfield, our tight end group, our receiving group, I had different guys step up at different times in the receiving group. So. The more we can kind of spread the ball around and, and create matchups all across the field, it's tough for teams to you know, take away one guy. In this league, legacy greatness are defined in January and February. 
how much of that weighs on you? How much pressure is there knowing that this is a chance to make your long-term mark? It's not a, not a pressure. I think I'm just trying to find a way to win one game, and then we'll handle the next one after that. Just do everything we can this week to, to beat the Patriots, and then whatever happens after that happens. Somebody texted me during the game on Sunday and said, Tannehill looks like he's having the most fun he's ever had on a football field. Is, is that true, and why? I've had a lot of fun this year. Um, I don't know if it's the most fun. I've, I've had a lot of fun my whole career playing football. I love playing the game. I love competing, and I love winning. So um, obviously, we won, won some games this year, so that's, that's always fun. But uh, I enjoy every time I get to step out there and compete. You know, I love the guys on this team, the way we compete, the way we believe in each other. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep enjoying every time I get to step foot on the field. What is it about this team as a whole that gives you and, and maybe the rest of the locker room confidence that you do have the ability to maybe go on a run? I think our, our ability to find a way to win throughout the season. You know, the ups and the downs, the adversity we face, different types of adversity throughout the games. And, you know, almost consistently, we, we tried and found a way to, to come out with a win, whether it was special teams making a place, offense going in two minute, defense coming up with a huge stop with the goal line. Somebody on the team, you know, stepped up and made a play. And I think that belief has been built through actions. It's been built through seeing it happen. So. Uh, obviously, just need to keep it going. Along those lines, you guys have had a lot of chunk plays this year. Has that kind of become the expectation of this offense to to get those type chunk plays a lot? Every game's different, you know. Obviously, they they'll try to limit it. That's that's their whole whole thing in defense is they're going to try to limit your chunk plays and make you march down the field. So um, you want to make those plays happen, but if if they're not there, then we're going to have to be methodical and, and march it down. It just kind of depends how the game goes. Anything to you that you finished as the league's highest running passer this season, and, and maybe who told you that was the case? I'm assuming you realize that. It's cool. Uh, I think Robbie told me after the game. You know, definitely an honor, but uh, you know, not something I was focused on. Just trying to get wins, and that was kind of a byproduct of of the full team effort and, and throwing the football. So, um, yeah, not something I focus on, but it's it's a cool honor. Testing your play-by-play -play memory here, but. Any chance you remember anything about your first play from scrimmage as the starter? You threw a deep ball to Janu up the right side against the Charger. You remember anything mm -hmm. about that? Yeah, it was uh, threw a back shoulder to Janu on uh, just kind of on a crossing route, and uh, linebacker was trying to cut him off underneath and was able to, to give him the football. What did it feel like right there at the beginning of your term as the starter to to get it going right out of the gate? Didn't think a whole lot of it, honestly. Just first play of the game and, and big chunk play and got us going. So, um, yeah, not a lot not a lot to say. I was glad to make a play. Feel like years ago or it, uh, for everything that's transpired? Yeah, you know, the season's long. You know, you look back, we look back at, you know, tape from earlier in the year or think about games from earlier in the year and it seems like it was years ago, but then the weeks go by so fast. So it's kind of a, a weird oxymoron that, you know, the, the season's long, but the weeks go by extremely fast. Brian, as a competitor, obviously you're not going against Tom Brady on the field, but as a quarterback, you look forward to going up against a guy who, you know, six Super Bowl rings, the, you know, and he's got all the postseason records for a quarterback? I love playing these guys. You know, just the, their team as a whole. They're a, a quality team through and through, and they're going to, like I said, they're going to make you go out and play well to win. They're not going to give you anything, and uh, as a competitor, you love that. You love having to go earn earn a victory, so I'm looking forward to it. About the way that Miami was able to exploit them last week, they came out and they played well. They played physical. Uh, they made some plays when it counted, and I think uh, we're going to have to do the same if we want to come away with a win. Learned anything from the practices against them back in August? You know, personnel that they have or guys potentially that you faced then that would would help you on Saturday. Um, yeah, every every team kind of evolves a little bit, but they have the same guys guys playing, and um, they're a good group. You know, good group through and through, big. Uh, at the linebacker position, deep at the linebacker position. They'll move those guys all around, create all types of different personnel problems for us up front. Uh, on the back end, they're physical. Like I said, they, they do a really good job of of staying tight in coverage, play a lot of man coverage, but they, they stay tight and make it tough on you. So, you know, we have a ton of respect for them. Will you make it to, uh, will you make it to midnight tonight? Uh, no shot. No shot. <laughs> I'll be fast asleep. You played several games in the uh, AFC East against Stephon Gilmore. What, what challenge does he give whoever they put him against? On, on Saturday. He's a quality player, man. He's uh, he's really good. He's physical. He stays tight in man coverage. He transitions really well. And then he has good ball skills. So he kind of is the, the complete package, everything you're looking for in a corner. And he's, he's been playing great for him. Brian, how has AJ 
elevated his game in the last six weeks or so to go from a guy who showed us a bunch of flashes earlier to now a guy who's flashing every week, it seems. He's consistent. You know, I think he's he stayed true to the course, came in with a growth mindset, like I, I've spoken about, Art spoken about, that comes to work every day and, and tries to figure out a way how he can get better. I think he's his role has expanded, obviously, the, the more plays he's made and, and the more he's shown to do well. And uh, just want to keep that going. As a quarterback, Ryan, when you watch Brady, what do you see? A guy that's consistent. You know, he's a guy who's been doing it for a long, long time uh, at a very high, high level. So he's won a lot of games and obviously have a ton of respect for him. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you.